Hi ladies and gentlemen. I come to you this moment with a little frustration. I have made two videos and I found out when I went to review them that they are non-existent. I have no idea where they went or what happened, but I get to do them over again. And the worst part is I think they actually came out pretty good. So I went and I got myself a huge cup of coffee, which is in the coffee cup that my good friend Carla gave me. I love it, love it. It holds plenty. And I guess um, we're going to start over again. Our five card fall class. As I stand here watching the leaves coming off the aspen trees. Kind of scary. I don't want to see it come. The cold weather, we're already in way below freezing at night. I don't know how it is in Bend, but I do know how it is here. Okay, well, I'll get busy. I'm going to get things together now, and I'll be back with you in just a moment. Oh, we just happened to think, ladies and gentlemen. I may as well just give you a real quick glance at what the cards are that we're going to be doing. Um, this would be one. Uh, it's a new card fold for us, like so, and it's magnetized. That's kind of fun. This uh, leaf is from Love of Leaves. Oh, awesome set, you guys. Oh, absolutely awesome. Um, this one is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. I'm trying to catch the glimmer of the copper. These are in copper. This pumpkin is copper. And then the whole, the entire card is a copper base. Hey, let's see. We're going to bring in a little bit of berry burst. And let's turn it right side up, okay? <laughs> Craziness. Okay, um, berry burst and copper. And we're going to be doing a little bit of water coloring on this one for the green leaves. He is so adorable. This may not be exactly what it looks like um, when the time comes because I ordered uh, the build a wreath set that I would like to use, but I don't know if it's going to get here in time. Uh, so if it doesn't, it's going to look like this. And if it does, it's going to be a little different. But basically, this is what we're going to be doing. Uh, this is walk in the woods. It's that little guy and a great big mushroom. It's really kind of cute. And last but not least is this one, which is my frustration card. I have done the video on this. This will be the fourth time. So I should be pretty good at it by now, don't you think? So uh, we're going to get started with this one first. And if it fails, um, well, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, go ahead and get your kit out, and we'll go over it real quickly, make sure all your parts and pieces are there. You have a sandwich board style card base. This uh, card, for the most part, is all done in cinnamon cider, which you know I love. Um, the next piece in your kit is a layer that has it is embossed with the coastal weave embossing folder and it's also infused if you will with uh, with early espresso uh, to bring out the lines in that and we'll, I'll go over how we do that in a few minutes um, another piece that you have is um, cinnamon cider embossed with old world the old world paper embossing folder um, a white layer that will go behind that we're also going to do some foam actually the foam's going to go behind the cinnamon and that's going to go on the white i think if it shows enough white okay um, you also have a little baggie that's got um, some goodies in it that are going to create 
your your foliage. It's got the little flower. It's got your vase. Uh, so just kind of dump those out and get them ready to use. I think maybe what we'll do is actually work on that first. That might be kind of fun. Um, since I've already done it four times, here is one of the ones that that I did that is still intact. Okay, um, so we can kind of use that as a guide, if you will. Uh, I'm going to try something different. This little piece of paper right here. I'm going to put some tape on it, maybe glue dots, a couple of glue dots on it. I think would be the best, and you guys get a little scrap of something, anything, but um, it needs to be fairly skinny because it's got to go behind the neck of this uh, this face that's in your bag of goodies. So I'm going to put, like I said, a couple of glue dots on this. and begin our work. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece, the, the wheat, and lay it on there. We might have to add some glue dots if it gets all covered up. Um, let's do this. Put this guy in here. Oh. My backwards. I'm gonna have to turn this. Okay. Okay, I see. Right. That's a little too tall, I'm afraid. Anyway, the whole point of using this little piece of paper is so that you can handle things better and rearrange it as you need to by tearing it apart, like I've done four times. Okay. Um, the black. And, oh, I don't have any. Oh, yeah, I do have green. Okay. A piece of green. Took some of that stem off because don't need the whole thing, that's for sure. Um, in there somewhere maybe and this tall one so I think I want it a little bit shorter I think and then we have these little fern looking guys one I'm gonna, I'm gonna need another glue dot. Okay, two ferns. Uh, we'll put them in opposite directions, mirrored directions, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh, that went that way. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to end up cutting a whole bunch of this stuff off. Anyway, I don't know if that worked better or not, but but it worked. Putting it on a little piece of paper. Okay, now I'm going to get my vase, and it looks like it needs a little bit of trimming. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to leave just a tad of white around the edge. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to clip most of this away. Hey, that worked out all right. Okay. 
I'm going to put a couple of poppers on the bottom of this. This vase. Uh, and the vase is from Boho Indigo. If I don't know if I told you that or not. I don't think I did. And the foliage, don't even ask me because it is all random. I just picked little dies out of some of my sets that I thought might work and that's what we've got. So. Okay. Alright. Okay, well I can't do that just yet. So, okay. Um, I'm just going to set this up here. With the base and go ahead had and work on this part. Got the card base. I want to review with you very quickly, if you will, how we did this. We've done it in club several times in the past, but it's been a long, long time since we've done this. Um, you just take your embossing folder, which is, does not seem to be here. It was four cards ago. So, this is the Coastal Weave embossing folder, by the way. Anyway, you get your brayer, your brayer, if you have one. If you don't, you can just use your ink pad, like so, just by tapping it on the embossing folder. I prefer to use the brayer. Anyway, get your brayer inked up, and then you're going to roll it onto your embossing folder. Put your piece of cardstock in there, like so, and run it through the Big Shot. And when it comes out, it will be beautiful, just like that. Um, having the Early Espresso, uh, yeah, Early Espresso infused in the paper. So it really shows up the design of the embossing folder. So, with that being said, I think we can go ahead and layer this onto our base. Gosh, I feel like I've done this before. And I forgot a step. I like to ink the edges of this embossing folder. Um, but it's too late now. If you guys are behind me a little bit, why don't you do that? I think it really makes it look a lot better. I don't know if you can tell on this one that that's been done. Just a little bit of inking on the very edge. It helps it look like it's finished. Put, we're going to put our foam on our cinnamon cider layer that's going to hold our artwork. And somebody forgot a step. We need a ribbon. By golly. You would think that for as many times as I've done this, I would have it down, but I guess not. So, you do have a piece of ribbon in your kit. It's that crocheted. Crocheted, it's not really ribbon, cro crocheted trim, I guess, is what we really should call it. Okay. So I'll put a couple little strips of tape on the back side, whichever side you decide you want to use of this embossed piece because both of them are great. Um, 
and you're going to layer your ribbon on here. I'm going to say about 5 eighths of an inch from the bottom of that piece. Something like that. Okay, I think I'm going to ink the edge of this a little bit. Would have been nice to do that before the ribbon, but we'll just work around it. Alrighty, now we can go ahead and put our foam on. Okay, and I've got two. Whoop. Lots of paper. This is going to be a little difficult because the reveal is like just a sixteenth of an inch. And with the ribbon and the foam and everything. But it looks okay. Alright, now that lovely spray of foliage that we did. We're going to take our vase, we'll put our two little pop dots on there, and I'm going to put one at the top too, but I'm not going to take the paper off the back of it yet. Okay. Whoop. All right, this guy is going to be placed over to the left just a little bit. Um, I don't want it in the center, but set it over. So it's about, I'm going to say, a half inch, between a half and three quarters of an inch from the edge of your layer. Okay, and stick that down with those poppers. Now then, I guess it's time for glue dots again. Because, kind of lift this guy up and put some glue dots back behind it that we're going to stick our foliage to. Oh, where did you go? Hmm. We'll have a few more besides this, but hopefully this will hold it in place while we get the rest of it going. Okay, that was kind of messy. Okay. Goodness gracious. Well, guess what, folks? This didn't turn out the best doing it that way. Trying to do it ahead of uh, before rather than doing it right on the card. Not too bad, though, but but I certainly think that when I did it on the card, it worked out better. Just FYI. I'm going to clip this guy a little bit and move it down. There. I think that's better. And I'm going to get, I'm going to put a little bit of glue dots back behind these that are more in the background and we'll let these fern pieces kind of 
be more in the foreground. Our card is finished. Uh, I did not put a greeting on this. So if you want to do, the, oh, the card is not quite finished. I'm sorry. We still have a flower to put on here. It goes right here. And it's gonna have a little blingy guy in the center. I did not give you bling if I sent your cards in the mail. Um, it's kind of a problem right now. It seems that the post office wants to charge me $4 to mail something that's over a quarter of an inch thick. So uh, the bling is a problem because it makes the envelope too thick. Too thick. So um, I'm sure that most of you have a lot of bling in your stash. If you don't, I will be more than happy to give you some the next time I see you. Okay, so let's see. Now, there's one more thing. I'm not going to actually attach this to my card because I don't have enough of them uh, to do that, but there's a little embellishment, a little metal one um, that is going to go right there if you happen to like that. If you don't, then we will not use it on your card. Okay, guess what guys? We are finished with that and I am really, really hoping that this video worked this time. If it didn't, I'm going to be very, very sad. Okay, I will see you guys in the next show. Bye-bye.